Assalamu alaikum. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the insert citation feature of Microsoft Word and uh, how does it really help when you are producing a document. And plus, it's uh, also going to be a tutorial about how to have an automatically generated bibliography at the end of your work. Now, what I have in front of me is uh, the document that I have uh, created. This is, uh, I mean, this, this is uh, what I am working on. You see, these are the flow of text with headings and everything. That's probably the way a document looks like when you write a thesis or a research paper or a term paper or anything that way. Now, what happens is like in the previous video, I have shown you that uh, you have to have your sources managed first in one location. That is uh, this one in this case, the one I added in the last video. Now you see the sources, they are still appearing here. And now I am going to show you how am I going to use them. But before that, you have to understand a couple of fundamentals of uh, how to use somebody's work in your thesis, if it is a website or if it is a book. Uh, there are a couple of things I have mentioned earlier. Um, uh, regarding the way you have to pick somebody's work and use it. There are legal ways of doing it. Paraphrasing happens to be one. If you use somebody else's ideas, the baseline is that you should be have, you should be acknowledging the source. You should not be owning that work as your own, like for instance. Now, if, if I go to the extent, the same page that I showed, I was showing you in the last video. Now, in this one, for instance, if... Uh, if I pick this line, as a rational animal, a man is one who thinks. But the play problematizes the proper exercise of thought by which man sustains his identity. Now look at this line. This line is not mine, right? I have copied it. I have come back to my work. This is my work. And for instance, here is the place where I want to use it. I have pasted it. Now keep one thing in mind. I have pasted it. Now you see this one, the line I have highlighted and I'm just trying to make it a little prominent. This line that you see in blue, which blue, this one, this one is not mine. Let's uh, zoom into it and let's have a look. This line is not mine. Now the thing is, if I were to uh, pick it as it is, number. Uh, the method number one is that I have picked it as it is. This means that I have, I might like to start writing like according to Samuel, whose book I have studied. And uh, uh, for instance, if this is not like this, um, we imagine that we have taken this quotation from a book, the book I have already mentioned in my sources. Look at this one. John Walker's book. This was the one. The fundamentals of sociolinguistics. Right. Now, this was John Walker. So, I used the second name. According to Walker, I have to put a bracket and I have to give the year, the year in which the book was written, which I remember having mentioned 1990. Now, according to him, now when I say according to him, of course, it takes a double inverted commas. The reason being, these are his words, these are not mine. I am just directly writing it from his book and I close it after I have finished quoting him as well. Right? After the full stop, you the, put the double quotation mark and that's it. This is an original copy paste. Now, in this one, it's very prominent that uh, you don't really see many problems here. Like, please remember, it's not a collection of copy paste things that you can do in the research. After that, you have to give this line give this line a proper context also you have to say certain things before this or after this which can accommodate this line inside it one thing second way of doing it this is now i am not going to use the exact words of him please remember the blue highlighted thing over here this is the line i have picked from the website now i am just going to say that in according to many linguists uh, rather according to many critics Shakespeare considers mm, man as a now look at this 
rational animal who a man uh, rational element i might carry on i might move this line who thinks now what is this this is what i have done to the line now look at the look at one thing rational animal and the one who thinks this was the original idea i picked from there right this is uh, in simple words this is known as paraphrase now again i would continue paraphrasing if i say that if i make this line my my own which is actually a crime according to the academic paradigms like i have just uh, i have written this line in my thesis putting a full stop removing the inverted commas and trying to make this mine this is where uh, anti plagiarism softwares are going going to get you very easily so now you just see this was one way of paraphrasing if i keep paraphrasing this line also into similar manner like for instance if i say that uh, i just try to paraphrase it right away by saying that uh, but this play we were talking about hamlet hamlet problematizes the proper exercise of thought hmm considers the usage of thoughts to be problematic right this is what i have done to the line i put a full stop now please see i read something somewhere else and i have paraphrased it in my own words now morally i should mention that this is not me this is something i read i have paraphrased that paraphrasing is all right because you cannot go on quoting everyone's lines by 100% you normally you and everyone who writes normally goes for paraphrasing things so i have just done two lines in front of you this is an example of two people might go for paraphrasing paragraphs after paragraphs all right but that is something i would not encourage because you you can't just keep on giving sources and keep on paraphrasing the whole document it's chunks of the writing that appear here and there that you should paraphrase once you have paraphrased here is what you should do before the full stop of the line that you have paraphrased or before the full stop of the idea you have paraphrased ho sakta hai this was originally one line and you have paraphrased it into two fine when you finish that before the full stop go here this is where insert citation comes in this is known as in text citation the citation that appears within the text the not the end of it like you have bibliography or work cited we don't go there click this one uh, oops this was the one i was talking about john walker and mm -hmm. sorry 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 there was one thing i mistook this is another document i opened actually let's go to the original one the one where we added the sources right this is the one and this is where we were let's zoom in and insert citation may now you see something here sorry i opened another document this is a copy paste from another document i was just trying to show you an example now here is the place i would just like to make this blue again the whole of it so that you should know which is the area i have paraphrased in front of you by picking it from a website a website which i have already mentioned in front of you and the text color goes blue and it does not go bold it's normally like that fine before the full stop i go to insert citation and i have to find out which book i was using or which website i was using i was using this person symbolism in shakespeare's hamlet this was the website i just have to click here and it is going to insert it's going to insert something over here like this symbolism in shakespeare's hamlet and full stop after i have put insert citation in text citation over here you see that uh, this one is over here let's try something from the book also for instance i have uh, studied something from a book and after having studied that specific portion from the book this is what i have written right because when you read something you naturally are under the impression of the book or of a reading material you are influenced by that if it is not your own personal idea you have gathered this idea from a book this is ideal that you just copy it i mean i'm just doing it a shortcut you have written something i imagine that you have written a paragraph like this and you feel that uh, this paragraph 
is something that I have actually tried to paraphrase some writers writing simple is that before the uh, before the full stop uh, take the cursor over there go to insert citation and I hope like you have seen in the last video you should have mentioned that source beforehand inside the manage sources once that is there you conveniently start working and when it comes to that particular source that you have used and when it comes to its mention simple click over here like I assume that this was the book this time I click this one and there you go Walker comma 1997 the formatting is not your headache at all please remember this is the machine and it works it perfectly you just have to uh, keep doing that why why is it is that you just first manage the sources and smoothly start working whenever it comes to using some source first off go to manage sources I have shown you this in the previous video and keep using that and very quickly once you have finished your whole document I repeat whole document then you can simply click over here bibliography it generates two versions for you either you are choosing bibliography or you are choosing works cited both of them are same thing but different titles you go for works cited or bibliography all right click here it is going to give shape of a bibliography to all of the sources you have inserted inside the document so I had this one symbolism in Shakespeare's Hamlet this was a web source and it was retrieved on April 15 when I used it from Academon this was the name of the website right and this is how this arrangement is done you have to worry about nothing one thing you might like to do is to choose the whole of it and just change the font size uh, font style to Times New Roman because your whole document is supposed to be in Times New Roman no other font that is it do not touch the italics because italics are done for according to the entries you have done so your whole document of course has to be in Times New Roman as well simple as that so you are done so no headache of making bibliography yourself it is going to be done by the machine only in case you have managed the sources and you have put all of your sources here one by one along with the work this is a systematic way of doing things and I hope that it helps you and, and saves you a lot of time and energy thank you so much and I hope that this helps if you have any questions or problems you have my email address under this video write to me and I'll try to get back to you thank you so much